Okay, smoked leg of lamb. Obviously, you want to use nice, fresh ingredients. It's not going to be any one of these guys um, because I've already taken care of that part. <coughs> Who is that? Hi. Yeah, you're a pretty boy. You're handsome, too. Look at that face. I'll be getting a bunch of fresh thyme and uh, also I've got rosemary and garlic and stuff from the garden. Here's some rosemary. I'll be taking a bunch of this because I also have it in the grill. For okay, I've stemmed the um, rosemary just and the savory just because I don't like all the stems and you can check for if there's any bugs or other weeds that you don't want in there. I've peeled most of a clove of garlic. They're all going to go here in the uh, Cuisinart along with some nice olive oil and some kosher salt. And I'll end up making kind of like a green type of a mayonnaise um, that gets rubbed all over the lamb leg. Okay, I, you just cook. and scrape it down at some point for a little bit. Well, you have no idea how heavenly that smells. Yeah, I get my fingers in it. texture that you want. Everything's chopped up really nicely. A little bit of oil. You can go uh, further on this and actually take it to a smooth green mayonnaise, but I like to have a little bit of the texture there. Okay, I've set up the grill. Um, on this side, I have a bunch of uh, green rosemary branches, and then um, I save, when I prune my rosemary in the spring, I save all the old rosemary wood. Um, from the dead part and then I use that oh, along with here's a little bit of oregano bloom that was left over it all goes in here off to one side and then I'll start the briquettes in my little homemade briquette chimney that's an old three pound coffee can that's been uh, used old church key to punch holes in it and uh, it's open on top and the bottom you put your briquettes in there and light a piece of newspaper at the bottom. It gets them going in about 15-20 uh, minutes, but I figure I'd come out and show you this now while it's still light because I think I'm starting to lose my light and it'll be pitch black out here. Okay, this is a little um, hind leg off of a five-month uh, lamb. I'm going to bone this just to make life easier and it'll cook a little bit better and the, um, the marinade, which is more sort of like a semi-dry marinade will uh, go into it a little bit better if it's boned. I've got this little leg boned out and I'm going to um, coat it with the marinade and roll it up and tie it and get it to ready to go out onto the grill. I've uh, put this, I'm actually going to roll this up inside. My kitchen string went on vacation so don't laugh, I'm using some some thread. Okay, here we go. It's um, tied into a little bundle and all uh, coated and ready to go out on the grill as soon as um, it's... I want it to sit here for about probably 20-25 minutes before I put it out there. There, you can see that that's working nicely, the little chimney, and I'll just uh, put the briquettes all over on this side and leave this over here. Then the grill goes over the top and uh, the lamb goes on this side sitting over top of these and as they smoke um, it'll add a nice flavor and color to the lamb. And dump these out over here. And uh, leave them all stacked on the one side. And there'll be enough room over here to keep the lamb. Oops. 
they're already starting to smell, but I'll put the lid on this and let it heat up in here really nicely till I'm ready to come out. There's my <laughs> funny looking little barbecue. It works pretty good for me. Okay, I put this on here seam side up and it's putting off a little bit of smoke now for the briquettes. I'll put the uh, the lid on it, set the timer for 15 minutes, and then come out and rotate it, and then another 15 minutes, and then I flip it over, and we go from there. It takes a total of 45 to 50 minutes, um, so we'll take a look at it when it gets done, and if I have enough light or can hold a flashlight and the camera, we'll get a part way done. Well, like I said, this was going to be awkward. Um, I need to rotate so that the outside edge of this is towards the coals and um, then set it for another 15 minutes. Okay, you can see we've got a pretty decent smoke coming on here. I'm going to open it up. It's probably going to flame when I open it and get more oxygen. But it's time to turn this lamb. Oh boy, isn't that pretty? There, it's starting to flame. Oops, don't want to burn my camera. Well, we're still smoking. I was able to put that little flame out just by putting the lid back on and so it smokes really good it'll be done here in about 15 minutes and I know mom's getting hungry so am I the smell is just absolutely incredible Let's see if I can get this off of here and do this one-handed <laughs> not too well drop the flashlight anyway this is looking absolutely done. Absolutely gorgeous. I have to put the lid on to put the fire out again. And uh, put it on a plate. Take it well, on. here it is. Um, sliced nicely. Getting ready to put it on a plate and carry it over to Mom's little cottage, which is right out my back door. But um, there it is. Smoked leg of lamb. It's going to be very yummy. Serving it with broccoli out of the garden and then some of the uh, sweet potatoes that are out in the garden there. And they have a m dried mushroom seasoning on them with a little bit of uh, celery salt. But there it is. That's our Christmas dinner. Merry Christmas, everybody.